following is a presentation of Main Street Media, your source for news, sports, and information on Main Street in Middle Tennessee. Welcome in, welcome in. I hope that you're ready for a big old day in Music City and uh, Middle Tennessee. I'm Devin O'Day and we've got a big old show. It's New Stuff Tuesday. We got all sorts of new stuff to talk about, new TV. Mid-season replacements are in and there's a new show. And a friend of ours, a recurring character musically on this show, is going to be making his debut on the new TV show. So we're going to play a little bit of that and tell you about it. Plus we're going to head to uh, the West, but we're bringing the West here. Gary Holt is here from Equestrian Legacy Radio to talk about a brand new Western Music Association branch opening in Middle Tennessee. And if you are like me and you love Western things, Western music, if you love Yellowstone, you need to find out what's going on with the Western Music Association and there's also a very cool show happening at the Station Inn on a regular basis with Farmer and Adele. We'll tell you about that coming up. Plus, we've got Mackenzie Wozner, who is a beautiful, young, new singer on the scene. She's precious. Her daddy played a lot of uh, demos for me. Pete Wozner is one of the best keyboardists in town. And he also plays with a guy you might know named Vince Gill. I just cannot tell you when I see these children of my dear friends over the years, and it's like, how did they get grown up? Because I remember when she was just, well, I remember before she was born. Let's just put it that way. So we're going to have new music. We're going to have some new things. But first, we're going to head to Murfreesboro because this weekend, all the new trends in home will be shared at the Murfreesboro uh, Home Expo. And I want to tell you all the details right now. I love it that the tickets are free. So you can get your free ticket. Just go online in Murfreesboro. It is a home show of all home shows. And I love what they do. We're going to talk to one of the, the people on site on Friday that puts this all together. And it features a lot of local people that can help you get your home on. You know, there are a lot of things that are changing. We've been talking about the colors of the year, the new appliance colors that are coming out. You can find everything at in Murfreesboro at the Home Expo. Let's check in with a couple of people who've joined us this morning. Oh, my goodness, Steve Bernie. How you doing, my friend Steve and Regina? Got a question. Are you going to be at the Golden's concert March 17th in Nashville, Tennessee? Third in Lindsley.com. Get your tickets. Yes, Regina. I cannot miss my family. The Golden's are like my family, and I'm going to be talking with them. We're going to have them on right before the show. And they're going to be joining us live. And Phil McGarrah checking in from Oklahoma. Hi, Phil. Speaking of the Western Music Association, Phil, you're going to love the story that is coming up. And uh, let's see who else is with us. OEB, this is our Miss Congeniality. If y'all don't know her in our audience, you will know her. Elizabeth is the most supportive. She's just part of our family. And so is Candy. Good morning out in Hickman County. No, 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 no. Humphreys County. Sorry. 
It's like states that start with I <laughs> and counties that start with H. I sometimes get confused, but Humphreys County, she's in the Waverly area. And Steve, I'm glad that you're doing great. We're going to check in with a dear friend of mine right now. And he is all think I would say there's a lot of all hat, no cowboy in this world, but this is definitely not him. The host of Equestrian Legacy award-winning radio, Gary Holt joins me. How are you, Gary? Good morning, Miss Devin. How are you? You know, I don't, I can't even describe how good it is because, you know, I, you know, I had the plague a few weeks ago and I finally got my, my brain back. Well, you know, that's kind of hit a lot of people. And uh, so some people are not doing too well. Some people are completely recovered. So you're getting there. Ooh, I'm you're grateful. I'm there. grateful. You're well, there. tell me a little bit about, there is such a fascination, especially right now. That's always been my fascination, always been yours about the West. All things cowboy and Western has always been our thing. But it seems like everybody has jumped on the bandwagon lately. Well, yeah, with Yellowstone, with 1883, you know, the the Longmire that was before that, uh -huh. people are really excited about the West. But we're really excited because the Western Music Association, the International Western Music Association, has now got a Tennessee chapter where it has been for a long, long time. And so we're tickled to death to be bringing that to Nashville and to Tennessee and the surrounding states because there are no other chapters uh, that are that close to us. They're all primarily west of the Mississippi River. So uh, it was just a natural fit. I've done Equestrian mm -hmm. Legacy Radio for nine years. We have the Campfire Cafe where we have musical guests. And that's responsible for me marrying my wife, who is a oh. singer. And can I tell you, everybody, we're about to see her in just a few minutes. We're going to see her perform. She is the prettiest woman I think I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> well, she I, is, I have to agree. I have to she's agree. just gorgeous. I have to agree with that. But it was just a real fit for us to open up a chapter here. So uh, we're excited to do that. We're having the first meeting tonight by Zoom uh, at 7 o'clock. And so information about getting in on the Zoom call is on the International Western Music Association Tennessee Chapter Facebook page. So if people are in the music industry, if they're just a fan or if they love the West, if they'd like to get involved with the Western Music Association, they can. But that information is all there. And uh, Devin, this thing started back in 1988 in Las, wow. Las Vegas, Nevada. So they had some performers that gathered together and they had some fans that gathered and they said, we need an association to help promote both the traditional and the contemporary Western music. And so that's what this is all about. And our goal is to help promote the artist and get them out there in front of people. So we've got some exciting things that are planned for the Tennessee chapter of the IWMA. Well, there used to be a time when C and W was a genre, country and Western. And, uh, and it kind of became just country, but the Western has remained alive with people like Michael Martin Murphy. We all, everybody knows him. And of, right. of, of course, everybody knows him and Red Steagall here in town. And right. he's been a big part of it. Um, but tell us some of the other artists, uh, like Riders in the Sky. Well, you know, you mentioned that. So, so all of those people that you just mentioned, Michael Martin Murphy, Red Steagall, are all members of the IWMA Hall of Fame. So are in Tennessee, Riders in the Sky, Rex Allen Jr. Mm. And I was talking to you just a little bit ago about Cowboy Joe Babcock. And so Cowboy Joe is now 90 years old. And when I called him the other day to tell him about the IWA being here, he said, can you call me back? And I said, yes, sir. He said, well, I'm in the recording studio right now. And uh, can you call me back? And so 90 I'm years old, 90 years old. And he has two projects that he's working on right now. So that's pretty cool. But some people remember Joe Babcock from Hee Haw. And mm. so he was a regular on the Hee Haw show back in the, uh, what was it? 90s, 80s, 90s. And, and uh, before 
that and before that it was yeah. it's been the longest running radio i mean uh a television show in history as far as being in syndication and and it's still popular it is still it, it is it, it's still it's still being run and mm -hmm. uh i enjoy going back and watching some of those old ones but anyway we're excited and we've got a lot of cool things that are planned for uh, the Western Music Association here. We'll have a fall festival that we'll announce later. Uh, we'll have monthly gatherings at some area uh, uh, venues to be bringing people into the Western music world. And you mentioned just a minute ago, Station N. And so um, the Farmer and Odell do Western Wednesdays down there. And so tomorrow, Wednesday, They'll have Keenan Wade, the farmer. They'll have Ranger Doug of Riders in the Sky. And then my wife, Mary Kay, will be performing down there at, I believe it's seven o'clock tomorrow night. Well, I'm going to tell you, we're about to play Mary Kay's video, um, Wind and Snow. If you don't really know what Western music is, and I'm a big fan of cowboy poetry. Oh yeah, and uh, and just the stories and and songs about the West and and it's just I cannot wait to share this with you. Hang on for a second, Gary. I'm going to play this right now, and this is Mary Kay. She's going to be part of uh, Lord Willen in the Creek Don't Rise. She's going to be with Ranger Doug and of course Keenan Wade, and we would say Adele just had a baby. She did, and Miss Little Vera, Miss Vera. Miss Vera Mabel and Miss Vera Mabel came into the world January 26. So she's taken a little time off to be mom and we want to celebrate that with her. But right now we're going to celebrate wind and snow. And I know you want to rest But we got strays on the mountain And those canyons to the west And I don't need a weatherman To tell me what I already know By this time tomorrow They'll be buried by the wind and snow So ask your wives and sweethearts To leave the porch light on There's no telling the time it takes so Or how long we'll be gone Settle up your horses, the best ones that you know By this time tomorrow, they'll be plowing through the wind and snow Wind and snow Noon the sun had made its exit from the sky The wind howled in from the east And the snow began to fly For those boys on the mountain Knew just which way to go They had cattle to gather in the wind and snow Someday around a campfire, the story will be told about the storm and the sky and the men who saddled up the road, pulled their collars up and they screwed their hats down low, riding for the brand in the wind and snow. There was 
was a man of Galilee long, long time ago Who took the job of rounding up our poor ethereal souls He made the low mighty and he made the mighty low He would not, he could not be stopped by the wind and snow Wind and snow Boys, we won't quit until we're done We'll ride into hell Even if we only save one Save That's good. Yeah, the two girls that were singing when playing with her are two of her daughters, Sophia and uh, Millie. And so they've played, they, they kind of go along as the case sisters, you know. Oh, fantastic. Fantastic. Well, Western Wednesday station in. And we did get some people checking in during that, Marcia Campbell. Hi, sisters. Uh, but Marcia is married to Billy Thomas of the Time Jumpers, and she said they're excited about the Western Music Association. Oh, great. Come on, boys. We'd love to have you part of it. So you guys can be a part of what we do around here. Uh, if you've got music or you have a kid that maybe would like to be part of it, we love to bring them into the fold. Uh, you know, I always say if you're part of the rodeo culture, if you're part of the Western culture and you go, look, my music fits there. You know, being part of a great association is wonderful. So tomorrow night, Mary Kay and the boys will be at the Station Inn for Western Wednesdays. Look forward to seeing you there. I would love, love, love to be there. And so, Green cowboy hat. I know. I got a couple of them. I do. I do. I go, maybe more than a couple. <laughs> <laughs> I got quite a few of those hats. So anyway, thank you so much for your time, Gary. And we will talk to you soon. All right. Thanks, See you tonight on Zoom. See you tonight. Okay. Bye-bye. We're going to be meeting Mackenzie Wozner. She is adorable. You will love her music. We're going to hear more from her. But first, I'm going to tell you it's New Stuff Tuesday. So the mid-season replacements are out. Brand new show. And Rob Mays, who will be a guest on Backstage Nashville on February 26th. He also has a brand new movie premiere that's going to be coming to town. He and Trace Atkins were part of a wonderful film that's coming. They're going to be having that weekend, the film debut. So red carpet and all that kind of stuff here in Nashville. I'll have details, but Rob Mays is part of a show called Promised Land. And he's going to be part of episode four, which just played last night. And if you're like me and you stream after the fact, you can check it out on Hulu. But here's what the show is all about. good to be home you and me we've had our battles i took the little vineyard your father started and turned it into one of the largest wine producers in the country i'm going to buy your company right out from under you it's not my company it's my family's and no one is taking it away from us i'll drink to that what is your dream i want to be a teacher Yours. The house, the vineyard. One day this will all be mine. I'm so proud of you, V. Thanks, puppy. To the new CEO. Amigas, puppy said jump. You said how high. Just be careful. He doesn't always care who he hurts. If my father knew you were in here, he would chop you up and use you to fertilize next year's Chardonnay. I was first in line to be head of this company. You think you should be sitting in my seat? You know how it is with a family business. Sometimes the line between family and business can get blurry. Play nice, Joe. I'm only the mother to three of your kids. I won't hesitate to let you know what kind of enemy I can be. It's the threats you don't see coming. Those are the ones that'll kill you. 
Joe Sandoval. I know who you really are. Your whole life is based on a lie. <laughs> Do you wake up in the morning thinking of ways to screw me over? I go to bed thinking about it too. I will always protect this company. What about your family? I never get tired of this view. It's good to be home. It's kind of like Dynasty and Falcon Crest 2.0 and it's promised land. And it is so good. And Rob Mays, singer songwriter, backstage Nashville movie with Trace Atkins. He's going to be there the 24th of February, but he's also on episode four, which just dropped last night. Well, I'm going to play a song speaking of wine. It's our next guest and she's fantastic. Her name is Mackenzie Wozner. And she sent me two versions of this song. And this is the one I got to load before the show. So here we go. It's called Wed, Red Wed Wine with Mimbos. <laughs> All of a sudden I became Elmer Fudd. Lord help me. Lord help me. Anyway, she sings it way better than I say it. Red wine reminder in my head. Trying to feel all right in the bright morning light. Oh, but I still miss the taste of the cabinet. I don't know what I should do All I know is that I want you And a red wine reminder in my head It'll take more than a headache For my broke heart to forget These bottles almost empty I'm still full of regret Yeah, it's that red wine reminder in my head about when we were Take more than a headache for my broke heart to forget. This battle's almost empty. I'm still full of regret. And no matter how much I drink, I replay how you live. It's the red wine reminder in my head. Red wine reminder in my head. Yeah, it's the red wine. She just didn't have any fun doing that at all, did she? <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> Hi, sweetheart. How are you doing, Mackenzie? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. I always I introduced you at Backstage Nashville. It's like somebody let a bird out of a cage, and that's how your voice <laughs> sounds. It's just, it just it it's so effortless. And it just flies out of you literally like a, the way a bird sings. It just <laughs> seems to give you so much joy. Well, thank you. Not much comes easily to me except singing. So. <laughs> 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 well, how are you doing, first of all? 
I'm good. I'm good. Uh, just waking up. I'm going to go right here in a little bit. And um, it's a beautiful day outside in Nashville. I know as long as we got sunshine, it doesn't matter if it's cold. It's just nice that we have the sunshine. I always yes. say there's there's about three months of gray if you're in middle Tennessee. So every time there's sunshine in the middle of the winter, winter time, yeah. we celebrate, don't we? We're thankful. Even if it's cold, we are thankful. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, Where? tell me a little bit about what's been going on. Have you been writing a bunch with being home a lot? Yeah. As, as all musicians have been. Tell me a little bit about how you've used your creative time. Yeah. So honestly, these last year, 2021, you know, when things started opening back up, um, you know, 2020 was completely dead for me. And to be honest, I really didn't do much of anything. Um, I didn't really do the Zoom writing or anything like that. I did it you know, here and there, but it was just hard for me. And it, it's so yeah. different, you know, when you're used to being in the same room, right. You know, the, the energy and everything just isn't there. And, um, so things started opening back up in 2021. Mm -hmm. I swear I met more great people, more great writers than I have my entire career. And I just felt like I, I met these people like, you know, Leslie Satcher, Kent Blazy, all of these <sighs> phenomenal hall of fame songwriters, even. And I was like, how in the world have I, have I gotten to meet these people so organically? Um, but they really just all believe in me and what I'm doing. And that, believe it or not, is harder um, than you think to find. And I just feel blessed that I've found those people. And so last year and then this year have, have been amazing. I got a whole new catalog of songs. And um, I just finally feel like I know who I am as an artist and what I have to say. So. You have literally grown up in this industry. Yeah. Um, I introduced at the top of the show that your dad played on demos of mine. And of course, he's been the right hand keyboardist of uh, Vince Gill forever. Yeah. And but but Pete Wozner, your father, has got to be the most proud human being on the planet. Oh. I mean, I bet he's a proud girl dad, isn't he? Yeah, I mean, he's taught me so much. Um, yeah, he's taught me everything I know, pretty much what, how to sing, how to, how to not sing, <laughs> what to do, what not to do. And I, I've always heard your name growing up. So it's an honor to be here with you. Oh, thank you. How does it, does it help having someone that is in the industry? Because I've, I've asked this question of people who are the children of people who were already established, whether it's recording artists, whether it's studio musicians, how do you feel about having someone in the business that is so entrenched and kind of knew the ropes? Did it help you to, to have that? I think it helped me growing up because I know, you know, how to act on a bus or how to act backstage and, mm -hmm. you know, the etiquette. Um, but That's important. It is important. You don't want to be like annoying or that girl or the, the diva chick singer, you know, it's a thing. They like to make fun of us. So, <laughs> you know, no, I'm, I'm joking, but um, it did, it did help. And obviously my dad is one of the most talented people in the world. I know I'm probably biased, but really getting to learn alongside. No, he him. actually is. He, you no, you're, you're really even is. biased. You're telling the truth. <laughs> no, really. It's like, and I just think it's kind of in our blood and it comes naturally. Um, for him for sure. And so getting to grow up really alongside him was like, Oh shoot. Like I gotta, I gotta get it together. If this is what I'm really going to, going to do for a living. Um, I do think so that part helps, but honestly, everything is so different now. He's like, I don't really know what to tell you, you know, other than keep practicing, keep practicing, keep practicing and, you know, keep doing your thing and doing interviews like this or doing meet and greets and stuff. Cause you never know who you're going to meet and you know, who's going to be there. What is new and what can, where can pe people see you and what's on the docket as far as music coming up? Yeah. So you can follow me on Instagram, Mackenzie Wozner, um, or Mackenzie Wozner music.com. Um, I'll have all my shows listed and stuff, but I am in the studio right now working on some new stuff and Yay! Uh, yeah, we have some really cool stuff going on. Um, I feel like I'm in a really good place. So, um, We'll see. But like I said, just great, great people surrounding me. And um, I'm excited for what's what's to come. 
Well, I know my friend Candy Parton just checked in and said, oh my gosh, Mackenzie is so talented. And there are a lot of people who agree and a lot of people are finding your music. And I love to play music on this show that connects people and with an audience that they might not have had prior. So yeah. I'm so excited to tell everybody, follow Mackenzie, get her music. You can download it wherever great music is streamed or sold. Yep. And if you find an artist that you really like, go to their website. And if they've got merch, support them that way. If you can buy a ticket to a show, support them that way. Because if we don't support the music makers, they can no longer make the music. It's true. <laughs> yeah, come watch our show. Whoever's watching, we would love to see you there. All right. Thank you so much, Mackenzie. I'm so Thanks. thrilled that Thanks. you're part of our day today. Thanks for having me. Thank you. New Stuff Tuesday, sharing great music, great TV shows, great new things for you to find. Don't forget, the home show in Murfreesboro is this weekend. And coming up, Rutherford Hart has the Heart Ball coming up. You can go and get tickets to that. And we're going to close with a word of inspiration from our governor, Governor Bill Lee. If you don't, this is not political, not political at all. Not about politics. This is about literally wrapping around each other and realizing who we are as Tennesseans. Be safe, everybody. Remember, most of all, to be kind to each other and that you are loved. Have a great rest of your day. Oh, I forgot. Don't forget to subscribe. Wherever you're watching this, subscribe. Whether you follow our Main Street Media Tennessee papers Wherever you are, whether you're in Clarksville or Dixon or Portland or down in Murray County or in Fairview or in Lebanon, the Wilson Post, Wilson County. I mean, wherever you are, Robertson County, Cheatham County, we are covering your local news. So get our newspapers and follow us on our Facebook pages because we like you. We like telling your stories. Have a great rest of your day. Our American spirit is being tested, but in Tennessee, we're proof that America hasn't lost her way. From frontier to front runner, our state has been a beacon to the nation for 225 years. This is America at its best. We guard God-given freedom with a safe and just society. We innovate to meet the greatest challenges of our day. We value the privilege of America and we hold great hope for the future. Now more than ever, it's clear that our ordinary is the rest of the country's extraordinary. Our National Guard, our nurses and healthcare workers, first responders, and teachers, and small businesses. Tennessee is the capital of working people USA. The times we're living in are not for the faint of heart. Scripture describes an especially wise people who understood their times and knew what to do. May we be those people. As Tennesseans, we will pray, we will serve, and we will act. America needs Tennessee because we are America at its best. Not like the sunrise with your coffee in the morning or taking a good book off the shelf With everybody else Together Like a silent Sunday service Together On my front porch with my friends Together we Who's ever there Standing next to me Yeah, together Is my favorite place to be